All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today, again, we're going to have a more or less a tutorial of a video because I feel like I haven't done a tutorial in a long time. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be pretty much talking about how to clutch games, as in how, how to deal when you have a few enemies against you. So the main thing is, again, you need to work with your tank. Is your tank a DPM tank? Is your tank an alpha tank? So if your tank is, for example, a leopard, which only has 350 alpha, then you would need to play accordingly. If you have a slow tank like the 60 TP, more or less, with good alpha, then again, you need to play accordingly. There are a few rules to clutching effectively. And firstly, that is take away the enemy's numbers. So try and reduce the enemy's numbers and kill the one shots first. Again, depending on the situation, if you know you cannot clutch, then I feel like going for damage is obviously a better choice. But then again, if the enemy has numbers, try and cut those numbers down as quickly as possible. Because this means that the enemy team in general will have less DPM and therefore your HP pool can actually stay relatively healthy. Now, the second thing is to try and, and position yourself away from the enemy. So at least try and put your front of the tank, so where the most armor is towards the enemy, rather than, for example, facing just one enemy. If there are two enemies in front of you and one behind, try and face two tanks which are in front of you to actually try and keep your HP up. So that's also pretty important. Then again, it's also important to kill quick tanks, so fast tanks, or tanks that can circle you, and tanks that have very good DPM. So if you know that in certain scenarios, for example, a Leopard 2 can pretty much, not a Leopard 2, sorry, a Leopard can eat you up with adrenaline, then you have to try and kill him compared to something like, you know, a Kronwagen, for example. Because of course, the Kron doesn't have that much HP. You have to keep these three things in mind. Who to kill first? and whether or not you should kill someone and the way you're actually positioning yourself. Are you positioning yourself favorably? Try and limit, uh, you know, <clears throat> ways in which the enemy can pretty much flank you and try and face all of them at once. But as I said, if you can't do that, try and face the bulk of the enemy force with your front. Again, this is very, very important. So we have positioning, who to kill and when to kill. That's all important, and again, if you have a hull down tank, for example, you should try and go hull down, which is super duper obvious. So I feel like these tips can help you clutch a little bit more, and uh, I hope you found this video helpful. With that, happy is out, and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye-bye.